Hey Aussies, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jamie and my channel is The Fly Life of Jamie. I am a flight attendant and a part-time reseller and today I have a very exciting video for you. Um, I know I haven't posted in a few weeks. I got sick after going to Rolling Loud Music Festival, not COVID. I just got a really bad sinus infection um, despite being fully vaccinated and everything. So I haven't been able to edit or post and then I had to go to recurrent training and become recertified to um, be a flight attendant and that was really stressful and just like a lot to prepare for. So I'm finally able to edit some of my videos that I'm behind on and this is one I definitely wanted to film for you guys. If you follow me on Instagram you may have seen the last few days I went garage selling and thrift shopping to source some clothing and other products for my Poshmark and eBay stores. Um, if you're new to reselling, this video might be super helpful for you to pick up some of the brands that I'm going to be showing. I'm going to show comps and like stock photos and some other information on this side of the screen. So that's why I'm kind of filming off to the side. That way I can show you um, some of the comps. If you don't know what comps mean, that means like comparable. Comps means comparable listings. So when you're in the thrift store looking at an item to buy, to resell, if you want to see if that item is something you want to get, you want to look up the comps or the solds of that item or that product to see if it is selling high and trying to get an idea of your profit margin. So yesterday we went to a block sale in Chicago in one of the neighborhoods near me and um, we got a bunch of stuff from the garage sale. We did amazing at this garage sale. I'm gonna show you those items first and then I'm gonna move on to the thrift store items. I did pick up some designer items for the first time, some brands I've never sourced before and then some other brands that are really really good for me in my store that I've had a really good experience with just over the past two and a half, three years that I was reselling. So yeah, if you wanna see what I was able to pick up, continue watching and thank you so much for watching. Okay, I'm gonna jump into the garage sale finds. The first thing I got was these Hunter boot socks. These were a dollar, which is a incredible deal for these. I always pick these up, whether it's the thrift store or wherever I'm sourcing. Um, it's basically the boot sock that goes inside the Hunter rain boots. And these resell decent, even the used ones. I think I sell these for around 22 to 24 pre-owned and these are in great condition. So I got a gray pair first. And then as I was looking at the garage sale, the lady was like, oh, I have another pair. And I was like, ha. <laughs> Let's go. So I got this other pair. These are black, same thing, Hunter boot socks, anything Hunter besides the Target collaboration. Some of the Target items that Hunter did um, in collaboration with Target don't resell as high as you would think, but the boots, the boot socks, any of the products from regular Hunter I think do very well. Um, on that note, I got a third Hunter boot socks. This, These are new in box and they're cream colored, so very popular for the fall. These were $5. She was um, unwilling to budge, so I ended up paying 5 for them. Um, but because they're new in the box, I think that I can sell these for maybe 30 to 35 I haven't sold these in like a little while. All right, next from the garage sale, I have these. They're like a dress pant material. They are polyester. Focus. These are by the brand Joy. I think that's how you say it. I've sold this brand many times. These were $5 and she actually took a few bucks off at the end. So these are just like a jogger. They're like a dress pants jogger. This brand does really well for me. Specifically, they're 100% silk tops. So I'm going to experiment with these pants. They're in excellent condition. They definitely look like something somebody wear like to the office or something. I picked up a lot of J. Crew on this haul. You want to look for black label J. Crew or this label is regular J. Crew, not the outlet, even though the tag isn't black. So this is a 100% wool pencil skirt. This was a dollar and I was like so shocked to find this for only a dollar. At the thrift store, this might be like $16.99. At the garage sale, it was a dollar. 100% wool, size 8. It's a number 2 pencil skirt. I'll show you some comps um, if I can find them. This lady said that she's now working from home after COVID and I thought that was interesting and she had a lot of good like J. Crew stuff and I was just snatching it all up. This is another J. Crew. Pencil skirt, 100% wool, blue, and um, size 8. From the same woman, I got um, another item for a dollar. So this is 100% silk dress. Now, I didn't really even look up the comps on this yet, so I'll look them up and show them to you. The back has that little bow detail that's really gorgeous. This is by the brand Karen Millen. Next, I'm going to show you some kids' clothes I got. I don't normally sell a lot of kids' clothes. I should diversify and get into that, but I sometimes think... 
I find them stained a lot and I don't feel like cleaning them or I don't know if the stain's gonna come out and it's only certain types of kids clothes that sell really well you know the Zara kids North Face Columbia there's certain brands that do well and I just don't always find those so this little cardigan was like 25 cents it's a cat and jack but it has like these little tassels on it I don't even know if this will resell very high but it was from um, someone at the garage sale that I was getting multiple other items for so I just thought why not this item that I got for a dollar It's a Columbia little jacket um, Size extra small 6 6x so these little cute jackets. I usually do really well with Columbia or Like North Face Moose Jaw any of those kind of outdoor sporting brands. This is another Columbia little fleece I got for a dollar this one is a size small 8 Super cute little cream with the teal zipper, excellent condition. Got another jacket for a dollar. This is North Face. It's a gorgeous little pink color. It does have some staining, so I have to try to get the stains out. But this is so cute to me and adorable little color. Someone will for sure pay up for this, assuming I can get the stains out. Next, at the garage sale, we got this whoopee cushion costume. I actually wore this as a kid like one year. It's just a big whoopee cushion with the hole in the head. And it was only a dollar. Halloween costumes sell very well. If you've never sold those before. What page? I found it. Peach did find this. Um, so yeah, the Whoopi for a buck. Great deal. Whether we wear it to some Halloween thing or I sell it. Definitely look at Halloween costumes because if you start selling them like September to early October, I sold a lot of good costumes. So yeah, there's that. Um, I've got these Vineyard Vines pants. I kind of feel like they're a little ugly. They're weird. They're like a velvet polka dot thing, but they're Vineyard Vines and they were literally a dollar. So we'll see the comps on these. I haven't looked them up yet. Um, some soccer mom will want them, you know. Next, we have a very weird Christian Dior robe. Um, I did look up, make sure this was an authentic robe, and it is. It's missing the robe strap, unfortunately. So I just don't think we're going to get as much for it. Possibly 20 to 25 bucks. Well, I kind of realized later that it was missing the strap, but it is Christian Dior. So hopefully at least 25 bucks on that thing. Next, I got this L.L. Bean sweater. It's gorgeous. Purple, like periwinkle color. It has... Some pattern on the bottom on the sleeve it's adorable so LL Bean isn't really one of those brands that I like look out for but if they have a special sweater like this definitely this will do really well on eBay or Poshmark for a dollar it was a great deal and then I have an item that was probably my favorite garage sale find um, a bunch of people were messaging me about this item everyone was really excited about it so I want to show it to you on here this is a Burberry kids jacket all right, we got the best find of the day from the garage sale. This is a Burberry kids jacket. Has like the plaid. It's light pink, excellent condition. So it has the plaid. It's Burberry children, size 2Y, which is basically a 2T. I paid $25 for it, um, but I will not be giving it away for just nothing. The comps on it, I see one right now on eBay for $250, and comparable coats um, and other colors have sold between... 180 to 200 to 250 it just really depends on the color and the style but i'm expecting to get around 200 possibly 250 for this colorway and this jacket i'm really excited about it it's gorgeous i'm really happy that i found it i think i have one more garage sale find to show you before i go on to the thrifted clothing so this is pretty random matt found this it is a tabletop fireplace from threshold a small like pro propane bottle attaches to it so you can like roast s'mores or just have like a mini fire outside this was brand new in the packaging and it came with everything and we could look up the name of it it actually sells for 80 dollars from target and it has perfect reviews which is why we bought it it was 10 dollars. we originally bought it to use for ourselves i don't know if it's going to do really well in our back area if not we'll obviously sell that on like facebook marketplace or ebay it would be really heavy to ship okay now we're going to get into the thrift part of this video i'm going to be showing you some pickups i got from the thrift store i went to the salvation army 50 to 75 percent off sale we were busy at the garage sale salvation army opened at 10 we didn't get over there till about noon i knew the store was already going to be hit up with a bunch of resellers and 
people and when we got in there it was crazy and I didn't expect to find this many things because there were people who had their carts like to the ceiling like there were so many resellers there a lot of rude people it was just not really a good time as far as looking around and the other people were being super rude people would be like I'm looking at a rack of hangers and someone would come over and just start grabbing them and I'm like what are you doing I'm like literally looking at this there was one pile of clothing that was outside a dressing room hanger so it's like four hangers just on a little hook and I'm like looking through them and this lady comes up and she goes to grab one from like three hangers back and I just grab the stack and I'm like like what are you doing like I'm clearly looking through these three items this isn't a rack it's like on a hook and she's like are you going in that dressing room and I'm like no but I'm looking at these items and she's like okay and she walks away all mad I've never experienced that in Michigan so yeah anyway Here's some of the items I got from the thrift store. The yellow tags are 75% off. I don't do math, but I'll try to calculate it later when I'm editing and put it on the screen because it's kind of hard for me to like do the calculation off the top of my head. This item was $8.99, half off for something. Basically, this is a little white sweater from Zara. I'm really careful about what I pick up from Zara, but this is definitely um, on trend for like a fall style. It's like a crop. It's a crop sweater. It's um fuzzy no stains turtleneck i think this is gorgeous and if i don't sell it i would definitely keep it for myself i know that's not the right way to thrift and source just saying oh if it doesn't sell i'll keep it but it's always like something i think about if the item doesn't sell i got these j crew shorts they have little pom-pom balls on them now the comps for this item were not too good for the smaller sizes but the size 12 um 10 some of the bigger sizes in j crew were really good online so I picked these up they were around $2.50 um, half off or three dollars something like that so I did get those next I got this pure this was four dollars um, on sale I got this pure cat it's 100% cashmere sweater cashmere does really well depending on the brand this is actually I believe a brand from uh, the UK or something when I looked up the comps it wasn't really selling in the US um, but yeah, it's just like a dark wine colored um, cashmere sweater. Next is a designer piece um, from Saint Laurent. So this item was $20 yellow tag, so it was 75% off. This is authentic Saint Laurent. I looked it up, made sure the tag was authentic. There's no style code or anything in the skirt, and I don't see this skirt online right now, but other vintage saint pieces are going for a lot so i'm excited i've never sold that brand or found it so that was awesome this next piece is kimchi blue which um it's okay i've sold this brand before but i definitely don't look out for it as much as i used to it was eight something 75 percent off i did get it though because it's definitely on trend this is an oversized sweater super deep v-neck has like big cuffs on the bottom of the sweater and the arms so this is i would say on trend for fall um this is something that would look really cute with just like a bralette underneath it kind of like a see-through moment this is um this is thread and supply it's an extra small flannel these are new for like 50 to 60 bucks so i picked it up i didn't get a chance to look at all the comps but for the 75 percent off i got this um these flannels do great especially this colorway next i have a j crew black label so this is not outlet it was 75 percent off so it was six dollars i don't know how much that is i'll figure it out has a little tie thing at the bottom super cute love this black label j crew next i have a vintage piece this is pretty cool i don't pick up vintage like ever i'm just not experienced in it and i don't know if it sells as well as my other stuff but i did get this for myself this is made in usa definitely vintage by the tag you can tell it was 4.99 50 percent off it's this awesome like animal print cow print top it's really stretchy I just love it so much. This was like $2.50. Next, we have some more J. Crew Black Label. We have another skirt, size 10. Great size in J. Crew to sell. This was $8.99, 50% off, so it was around four something. It's just like a businessy type skirt. Picked up so much J. Crew on this trip. It was awesome. This is a 10 petite, another good size. I don't like the small petite sizes, like the triple zero and all that, but um, focus. Hold on. Okay, so this was J. Crew 10 Petite. 
It was $5.99, 75% off. It's a really cool mint color. Okay, so these are Madewell wide leg pants. They're kind of like a dress pant material. They were 75% off, so they were around $2.00. Unfortunately, the style tag was cut out. I noticed that I was trying to look them up and I couldn't um, I couldn't find the comps on them So hopefully I can like find out what style these are but uh, Madewell does really well for me I just don't pay up for it unless it's on sale I'm not gonna pay like $12 for a shirt the thrift stores always have Madewell like super overpriced This is another J. Crew black label 50% off size 10 I don't know if it came from the same person who donated that other skirt, but I think it would be a great if I did like a bundle of two or just put them both up at the same time and somebody wanted both. This is a 75% off tag. It's Forever 21, $5 and it was 75% off. Like I said, I think uh, Forever 21 doesn't always resell very high, but something like this will definitely do great on Poshmark. Next, I got a Roots pullover. I love Roots. This is a Canadian brand. Um, it sells really well on Poshmark. It's expensive. It's very quality material. They make like sweats and crewnecks. This is an extra large and it was $5.99, 50% off. So for $2.50, this was a crazy deal. I absolutely love this crewneck. It kind of has like the hockey sleeve vibe going on. It was a great find. Next, I have a Brandy Melville. I don't source this a lot, um, and I really want to sell some more Brandy, but um, they have like a one-size-fits-all thing, which is a joke because it's basically small to medium most of the time. This is just like a crew neck sweater, gray. It was 75% off, $8, so I picked it up. More so for me, but I might sell it if I don't end up liking it as much as I thought I would. I need like a gray... Um, crew neck just for non-revving and stuff like that next this piece is really cool this is a zara accessories made in morocco bodysuit right away from the pattern i feel like i was like "Ooh, that has to be a really good top i looked up comps i couldn't find this exact top i found another one that was also patterned that's on ebay but regardless if i don't sell this i'll keep it for myself super funky very high quality fabric and I was excited to find this. So that is a Zara bodysuit. Next we have more J. Crew black label, size eight. This is 75% off of like six something. It's like a dress shirt, but it has like these sequin details on the side. I've noticed anything weird like that from J. Crew does very well. I don't know if it's like these office people that are like, oh, that's an office shirt, but it's also sequined and cute. I have to have it, but I always sell like random j crew tops that have stuff like that all right we got a zara knit for 3.99 this is very thick feels really soft it was half off for a dollar 50 for zara and this is definitely again one of those like on trend fall sweaters so yeah, i picked that up all right next i have a we the free pattern sleeve top these flannels do amazing this one isn't a flannel it's more of like a crew neck but I've sold the flannels in the past from We The Free for a lot. And this one has these really cool like textured things on the sleeve. Um, it is an extra small, oversized. It was $14.99 yellow tag, 75% off. You see the thrift stores are getting to know all the brands now, unfortunately. And they're pricing these things way higher than before. Next I have this Castlone. I don't even know if this brand is decent for selling. I mostly picked it up for the style. It was $6.99, 75% off. And it's a long like duster cardigan. So yeah, it's like a long cardigan ribbed down here and then on the sleeves. Definitely a great style. Next I have a Rails. This is one of those really good brands. Rails Extra Small Flannel. These can sell up to like $75 pre-owned. It's crazy. I wouldn't spend a lot on them, but this is $2.50, so that was a really good find. Next, I have this really cool sweater Matt actually got for himself. It's a super chunky, like oversized fit. Really, really cute. I'll be stealing this and wearing it. Um, the brand is Field Scout, and it is handcrafted sweaters made of fine Peruvian yarns. $6.99, 50% off, so it was around 3 bucks. This is definitely something that would sell, but I think we're keeping it. I just wanted to show you. Okay, I'm almost done, I promise. So next I'm going to show you some men's ties that I got. We looked up every single one of these to make sure that the comps were there for these, and I'll post those um, to, you know, over here for you to see. Um, first I have this polo tie 
it is like a stripe pattern this is blue label polo ralph lauren got to be careful with these some of them are outlet or whatever and it was 3.99 half off so it was like a dollar something okay so this brand it's dulce punta made in somewhere italy i looked this up and they're really selling for a lot so i was excited about this one the pattern is kind of pretty it's like a floral paisley this was 5.99 half off so it's like three dollars brooks brothers tie it's really pretty brown with blue striped this was 2.99 half off so a dollar fifty i always pick up brooks brothers bow ties and regular ties this other brand dormeal um dormeal paris london looked up comps on this one and they were really good as well it's like a floral pattern this was 250 brooks brothers and this is like a red rope kind of design this one was half off 5.99 so it was three dollars if you want to see more reseller content you can follow me on instagram the fly life of jamie i do post flight attendant and travel stuff as well but i've been getting back into reselling and posting more stuff about that some of my sold items and stuff um also if you're interested in any of these items i should have them on my poshmark and or ebay store soon in the next two weeks or so when i get all of this listed so thank you so much for watching my haul i hope you enjoyed it i am behind on putting out some videos so i should have like three new videos coming out soon and then i'll be filming some other stuff let me know what you want to see and thank you so much for watching if you're not subscribed already please hit that subscribe button i'm close to a thousand subscribers i don't know if that's going to happen before my birthday on the 21st that was my goal until i got sick and all this stuff put me out for three weeks and i've just had a little bit less progress than i wanted but now that all that is done um i can get back on track with my goals for youtube so please hit the subscribe button and i will see you on the next video bye allzies